Welcome to another MuseScore tutorial and this time we're going to learn about how to add dynamics to your score. Dynamics are music symbols that indicate the volume the music is to be played. In other words, how loud or soft you want your music to sound. To add dynamics to your score, you need to use the palette that is found on the left hand side and we open the dynamics section. Again you can expand this by clicking more and you see that there are far more dynamics than what you were initially given. To add a dynamic to the score you simply need to click and drag. That is the first option. So I'm going to begin this moderately loud and I click and drag over onto my score. I want it to be moderately loud on that first note and that's how I will begin. Let's have a look at that again. Click, drag, and when you get the pointer on the note, let go. The other way to add a dynamic is to select your note by clicking the note first and then selecting your dynamic. That is a single click, not a double click, not a click and drag, single click on the note, single click on the volume you want and that's as simple as it is. This is how it would sound. Oftentimes when you're composing a piece of music you like the dynamics to change. So as we progress through this melody I'm going to leave it at moderately loud or MF for the first four bars. You'll see at bar five where I have the descending sequence, I actually want the volume louder here. So I'm going to click on my first note and select F which stands for loud or forte. I don't want the melody to stay loud for the entire song. Towards the end of my melody across bars six and seven I want the melody to decrescendo. This is known as a diminuendo and it just means that we want the melody over these four notes here to gradually become softer so that we will finish at the end probably at moderately soft or soft. This is our diminuendo hairpin. Click and drag. You'll see this dotted line that moves with you. It is looking for an anchor point where you want the diminuendo to begin. I want it to begin at the start of this bar, but I want it to go for longer. So I need to click on it and drag it out to where I want it to finish. I then want my last note to be soft. Let's have a listen to what this might sound like. And there you have how to add dynamics to your score. The next thing you might like to do is actually change your dynamics. You might like that it gets so soft at the end. So you might click, delete, and you might change that to an MP. I'm going to show you also another way of adding a decrescendo or a diminuendo. So I will delete this. this. You can select where you want the diminuendo to go by clicking in the bar, holding down shift, and clicking in the last note. This then selects a passage that you want to add your diminuendo to. Single click and your diminuendo doesn't need to be dragged out, it just matches those notes or that passage that you have selected. Then click the last note 
add your MP by single clicking and save your work.